Yes, you can play Oh, you're in this school So you can't be hard Oh, those times Because you were to a race for school I swallowed the sweetest dance How cool is that? Well, there are many applications for this that you can play wave audio uh, with a notation editor like this mm. well the, this example uh, I gave you uh, is I want to hear the vocal sound so I can actually hear the lyrics I can actually hear a male voice or a female voice that will better represent the actual sound of the final product as I made the or orchestration Another use for this is when you work on a soundtrack, a movie soundtrack, then you may want to synchronize things with the dialogue and with the sound effects as you work on the scoring. And other than that is when you want to use extended techniques in your composition and you want to hear how it sounds Okay, uh, there are applications that can do it natively, like in Linux we have Rose Garden. Um, other DAOs also support notations, but again, DAOs, when they do notations, they are not in the same level as a dedicated notation editor like MuseScore or Sibelius. So the way I did this is I work the score with a notation editor, in this case a music score, and I sync that with a DAO, which I use Ardor in this case. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. Okay, here we have music score opened, and I already made the arrangement with this. And what you have to do is to sync music score to Jack. So the way to do it, you go here, uh, edit preferences. Go to I.O. I.O. tab here. And of course it's already it should be selected to check audio server if you are using Linux. And check everything here. Okay. If you did this, then Mr. Score is already synchronized to Ardor. You want to make Mr. Score your master. Here. So this way you can adjust and change the tempo in Mr. Score and whatever DAO that you're using will follow that. Okay. So it should work now. Yeah. Okay. As you can hear, it is still a um, synthesized sound. So here, let's open Arger. Okay. I already recorded my voice here, you can hear this. Yes, you can play audio in music score. Okay, that's my voice. And what we can do next is we want to sync Arder to Jack and make Arder the slave. So you go session properties, yeah, make sure it is unchecked here. So, because we want uh, to have music score as the master. Okay. And you hit this. Oh, it's now it's in MTC. That, that means you, you have to change this to Jack. So, you can see it's not available here. Maybe a different for, for your case. Just in case you have this, something that is not Jack here, when you hit this, you go to um, edit. 
or preference here. Okay. And select transport here this step. Okay. Transport and change transport masters to jack. There. Okay. And again hit this button here. And now it should say jack. Now if you play at any place, it should start. I can hear how. Okay, um, maybe the only thing left is we don't want to hear this synthesized sound here. Uh, so go to um, your mixer. That's my mixer. Okay. And let's mute the voice. So there you have it. You can play okay, there you go. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can export this, you can record from user score directly to Arger. Um let's do it. Uh, let's add a track. Okay, let's add audio track and say for this this is cool. This is very useful for guides. If you when you want to use this as a real recording guide for the musicians, you can use this and just configuration. Yeah, make sure it's in stereo because music score output will be in stereo. Okay, add it close. Okay, then we have to change the input. Here, a routing grid. Okay, we what we need here is other and change this to music score. There we go. Okay, we don't need capture. Okay, now if we play, uh, hit record here and record here, go back to music score. Play. Yes, you can play. Okay. As you can see, it's recording from Mrs. Core. Okay. Well. That's it. Um, so you have this recorded. The problem here, as you can see, they are not lined up properly because the tempo is different. Uh, we have to change the tempo according to the song. So this is in 70. So let's change this to 70. Oops, 70. Apply. And you can see it's now aligned properly. Things should align properly, and you can now. If you want to play just the just the, the harder sound again, if you hit play here, it will go back to music score. So you have to disconnect them before you can hear just one of them. So if you want to disconnect, just click this. Now it says internal. So you can play. Yes, you can play on your This is So you can hit our vocal sound. Okay, and of course, it's, it's already aligned properly, so you can hit metronome. Yes, you can play on your This is So you can. This is very useful if you want to use this as a guide. Also, you can do all the fancy stuff you can add. Um, effects or this music score, but it's probably useless because, well, it's a synthesized sound. You, you want to replace everything here with recorded sound in the real production. Okay, that's it. Hopefully, it is useful for you. Thank you for watching.